So we're going to do a few activities around that. Um, has anybody managed to find out anything about John Muir? Yeah, he died. Oh, on fantastic! Christmas wait, wait! Don't shout anything out. I really want to hear what people have found out. So put your hands up. What have you found out? Um, I wrote a little bit about. Oh, fantastic! So I wrote, um, John Muir, also known as John of the Mountains, was a father of many national parks. He was an influential Scottish American <coughs> naturalist, born on the 21st of April 1838, and he died on the 24th of December 1914. He, was, he also had two children and a wife called Louisa. Well, he was first born in Scots. Scott, 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 yeah. Yeah, come on, you Scots. They know he, he was shepherd for, for a while, for a while, and he ain't going outside, and you know, the yacht, a yacht about like, um, nature around the royal day. And he said, no temple made with hands can compare with Yosemite, it, it, it's the grandest of all special temples of nature. It's beautiful. Ooh. What a lovely quote as well. So, like those who just shared the information said, um, apart from being um, a naturalist and a conservationist, he was extremely important. He was one of the very first people to say, we need to protect our natural spaces. Yeah. Because at that time in history, they were just um, logging a lot, chopping down forests, um, especially in North America. In they, California, they were just chopping down some of the oldest and biggest trees in the world. Um, and he's, he, he got so upset by it, he loved being in nature, he got so devastated that he campaigned his whole life. In the parks he was working at, there, there was a huge tree and they cut a hole in it for, for a road and then some really big winds came and it fell over a few years ago. Everything we're going to do today is relating to trees and looking after understanding trees, looking after trees, protecting trees, all part of our John Muir Award. As we know, John Muir really wanted to protect natural spaces and trees. First, just to get warmed up and have a little game. Can you see? Okay, dumb. Cool. <laughs> you know where it is, don't you? Yeah. Not that you're gonna <laughs> What kind of trees do you think this is? I know what it is. Yeah. What Chestnut think? tree. This one. What makes you say that? Because of the leaves. Yeah. I think it's a chestnut as well. I think you might be right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight. and you're going to be running round in a circle from here all the way around. You got to touch each one of those trees in a circle of that ground here. Now, the catch is you can only breathe when you get to one of these trees. You have to hold your breath in between. Go. You've got to go round in a circle. Have a breather at one of the trees whenever you need to. Well done, well done. Nice and easy. Loads of faces to breathe, it's nice and easy. 
Now, I am now coming along with this big hat. This is such a lovely area, such a beautiful space. The business developers have come in and they want to build some new housing estates. Some beautiful big housing estates. The trouble is, there's not quite space with all the trees around. So we just need to take a few more trees. My wood chopper is going to chop away the red tree there. Also, I think we've got housing estate over there. We're going to need some more shops. So we'll build a few more shops over there where Donna is, we take that one down. We need shops for the people, we've got a new housing estate obviously. Literally. You've still got loads and loads of trees though, so you should still be able to breathe. It'll be a little bit harder now. Go! 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 Okay, so one, four trees down. Yeah. All the way down. Four trees down. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Now, well done, we are still doing well. The housing estates are so popular, people love it. We've got more people wanting to move here because it's so beautiful. We need a few more houses and we also need... We have three more trees that we, we need, need a shopping to. centre, we need a swimming pool, we need big roads for all the people that are going to live here. So we're just going to need a little bit more space. In fact, we probably need McDonald's because everyone loves McDonald's. So we're going to take out Wood chopper, can you take that one away? And this one. Tree, and this tree, but you've still got to go all the way round. You've got to go in the whole circle. So you must hold your breath in between. If you can't do it, then stop, lay on the floor, and you're dead animal. Go! All the way around. All the way around. If you can't, then just sit down and be a dead animal. I'm if you can't survive. I'm a fox. I'm a dead badger. There's only a few trees left. The town has become the town has become a city, and we need to create more jobs for all of the people. We need to build some factories. We need to build an industrial estate. Unfortunately, despite the protests of the locals, we are going to have to build it over here because that's a really good site to build the factories. You <laughs> sound so convincing, I'm like... <laughs> it's all the way around here. Come over here! Come over here. It's all right, we've got it all. It's all in the planning regulations. We've still got space for the wildlife. There's still a bit of woodland over here. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. What? Is there a storm over there? No. Right, you guys got to come over here then. They're literally dead animals. Oh, you're dead? Oh no. my god. Can Sorry to hear that. Your final challenge. Can you? My husband and my kids. I can do it. Can you get all the way around? You must still go around the whole route and get back to this tree. Right, we've got holding to go your breath. Oh, you have got to go all the way around. Take a big breath and go. Okay. Now the 
the game might seem a little bit silly in some ways, a bit exaggerated, but it's actually not. No, the trees are change literally change. the lungs of the planet, and the more that we take away, yep. the harder it is going to be to live for everything, not just people, for all of the wildlife, the animals, it's not just that. oxygen, they are homes to millions and millions of creatures and animals yep. and birds all over the world.